Good morning, my lovers. I'm back out on the fields and I've got the Horde Hunter Mark II with me today. The Coiltech Monster. Look, I can fit the head right through it. Yeah, Coiltech. And I'm going to give it a go, see what treasures we can find with this huge coil. Look, I can put my head right through the holes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's lovely and light, actually. Lovely and light. And we're going to see what treasures we can find today. We've got a load of pegs ready to pick the signals. We've got the CTX ready to double check. I've got a cup of tea, mint tea, ready for when I start. And we're going to see what treasures we can find today. Woohoo! Oh, I've got a lovely one here. Hmm, don't know. Still down there. Oh, something went wrong with the camera, but I just found a coin. It's got something written on the top there. But as for the rest of it, it's pretty toasted. Oh, I just found this with the GPX, and I was thought, oh, it's just a bit of lead. But it's got something on it. Just there in the middle. Right, I'm going to get this cleaned up and I'm going to get back to you. But it looks like some sort of a relic. I can see something going around the edge there, look. Dots. Some sort of ancient relic. Look at that! Right, it's got, looks like a Tudor rose in the middle. And then it's got this thing going around with dots, pellets, whatever. And it's got a line around the outside of that. See the line? This thing in the corner looks like a fleur-de-lis and then it's got this sort of like serrated edge all the way around the outside and on this side just looks like maybe like it was maybe a part of a lid or something but uh, yeah that's got to be that's a Tudor rose that's 500 years old so that's uh, my first ancient relic found with the uh, super duper big coil wouldn't particularly deep maybe 10 inches but i'm just getting used to it and this ground here is a bit a bit noisy there's a lot of rubbish like iron in the ground so it's uh, a bit tricky to um get in between the uh, signals like so yeah first relic with the super big coil the horde hunter mark ii lovely jubbly oh this is it it's called the gold stalker well, I might call it the Horde Stalker. So size my foot up next to it, look. Huge, absolutely huge. And, and it's a lot lighter than the other coil. The other coil was heavier. This one's lighter. It's not much more heavier than the CTX's coil. It's really light. I could probably swing this all day. Not blanking. I think that's a possible signal just there. Oh, don't like the camera. <laughs> it's about three foot from the coil. I'm just wandering the camera. Ah, super powerful this, this thing is. Let's see if we can find some more. You see, how, you see how it sort of blanks then, it cuts out. That's iron. Iron. 
So I'll move around it a bit. Right, that's not blanking at all. I'm going to peg that one. Right, I put in a load of pegs and uh, I'm going to go and dig some signals up. Oh, we got something nice here. Oh, you see it? Just here. Looks like a coin. Oh, it is a coin. That's Oh, that's uh, King George the First. Look at how good condition that side is compared with the other side. Bobby was face up. King George the First. Woohoo! That's a nice early coin. Another epic relic found with the GPX 5000 and the Horde Hunter Coil Mark II. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, this side's much better than the other side. But there, yeah, you can see Rex, Georgius. It's funny how he's sort of looking upwards. And then and there's this side's much worse. But yeah, nice little find there, look, made with the GPX 5000 and the Horde Hunter Coil Mark II. Lovely jubbly. God, we got a sweet sounding one here. Oh, could be silver. Oh, you can see something just there. Oh, don't look like silver. Looks like a coin. Let's pop it. Oh, it's a copper, what they say, is it a copper? Yeah, it's definitely a copper. Is it a kg? Yeah, I think it's a KG. Oh, can I see a head coming through? I think I can see it, a head coming through at a funny angle looking up this way. Looks a bit strange. Right, let's see what's on the back side. The reverse. Uh, mm. Oh, I can see Britannia. There she is. There's Britannia. Right, let this dry out, give it a bit of a rubber dub dub, and I'll get back to you. Oh, there she blows. Now, is that King George II? Don't know, sort of looking upwards though, which is a bit odd. And on the reverse, there's Britannia. She rules the waves. Lovely jubbly. Oh, we got a signal. The GPX has found something. And I'm hoping it's not going to be small, it's got to be large-ish. Because with a big coil you should find larger things. Mm, three inches. quite large it's a good big piece of lead some sort of a clamp oh it's got a pattern on it it's got a pattern indentation what's that cloth indentation that yeah, piece of cloth maybe thousands of years ago a piece of cloth indented this piece of lead as it was being made right on to the next. Oh, the GPX found something. Just there it is. Just here. I thought it was going to be on the surface, but it's quite a big signal. So it's just there. Oh, what's that there? Ah. Oh. 
it was silver plated. Was that it? That's it. Oh, bit more. Bit more. Just a little bit of it. Oh no, there's a bit there. Oh, whatever it was, it was silver plated. It's quite thick metal. Thickish. Mm. That's a bit of it. Right, whatever that was. But it was silver plated. Oh, I got a lovely one year. Oh, could be silver. Out. It's popped out. Don't look like silver, unfortunately. It's a good big coin. It's a good big one. Is it a coin or a pesky button? No, it's a coin. Oh, might have some detail on this. I can see something coming through. Hmm. Yeah. Might have some details. Right, I'm gonna let this dry out, give it a rubber dub dub, and I'll get back to you. Ah, oh, there she blows. Now, where is it? Ah, see that says Rex there, look. R -E -R -E -X, R-E-X, Rex. And there's three eyes up in the top corner. So that's King George the Third. you can just see his nose. And on the back, there's a harp. So it's a Hibernia. It's a Hibernia. So it's an Irish coin. Right, lovely jubbly. Doing well with this GPX. Oh, I've got a bit of an iffy one here. Mm, it's in there somewhere. Oh. Let's make sure I haven't got it out. Oh, turning it on might help. Oh, yeah, that's something. Thought we had something, now it's down, gone again. Oh, right. I'll get back to you when I find it eventually. Oh. Ah! Oh. Go cool. on, that was deep for a pesky moo tube. And I'm surprised it wasn't a banging signal. Because they usually are pesky things. Oh, I just found another relic with the GPX 5000. There it is. Stunning, isn't it? Like a little flower or something. Right, I'll get this washed off and I'll get back to you. Right. Whatever that is. Just a pity it's just a fragment. Is that a bird holding something in its beak at the bottom? Looks like a, a heron or something. Hmm, lovely. Oh, that's it me lovers, I'm gonna head off home. Yeah, I've not been able to get out much lately because of the weather's been really bad, but hopefully I'll be out with uh, Mind Lab Matt in a couple of days. Cheers!